banal. Pink in the Giro. Can he win the Giro? Of course he can still win the Giro. He's got rim breaks. Uh, seriously, yesterday he got a little bit dropped. He lost about a minute off of uh, Yates there on his disc brake gravel bike. Uh, what happened? How, how does Martinez, the domestic, dropping his team leader Egan? And I'm not trying to discredit anyone here. You know, Martinez has done a great job. But you can see in that so steep ramp, probably the steepest climb, correct from wrong, of the Giro 2021. And so if it's super steep, and he's obviously clearly Egan was running out of muscle glycogen. His glycogen petitioning was not optimized for that day. It was a recovery day the day beforehand, maybe ate too much olive oil, that blocks your insulin, uh, insulin resistance. Uh, sorry, it enhances insulin resistance, which will block your insulin uh, performance levels in terms of glycogen partitioning the muscles. So then the next day, on those steep ramps, if your glycogen isn't optimized, your insulin sensitivity isn't optimized, you're gonna have some big trouble in your China. And so we saw Egon, when Yates put the hammer down, increase the watts, Egan could match it. So what would have happened if Yates attacked from the bottom, he probably he could well be in pink today. So that's a, lot, a life lesson. If you can go for it, go for it, all right? Back yourself. Yates didn't back himself enough yesterday, and if he did, if he went full kamikaze, he could have won the Giro on a gravel bike, a CX bike, a disc bike, disc brake bike. Now, if you've ridden one of those attic discs like I have, they are cumbersome compared to the F12 rim brake with lightweight tubulars, 1100 gram wheel set. So if Yates attacked from the bottom and just went full kamikaze, he could have lost his position, but I would rather fight for the win versus battle for second or third or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, what's the point of that? Go for the win, all or nothing, you know? Especially when you're a GC contender like that. Um, you know, there's no reason Yates should have ridden conservatively. He should have just ridden to Watson's start versus attack and try and threshold it up. He should have hit threshold from the bottom and just go for it, man. Just go for it. Initiate that aggressive riding style versus holding back, holding back like a schoolboy. You know, should have just went full kamikaze, go for it, balls deep from the gun. You know, on the, on the last climb. Um, you know, he could have, physiologically, he could have done that. You know, he could have done that. And then we saw Caruso. You know, he's a 70 kilo rider, big boy for GC, you know, and uh, did really well yesterday as well, on a, on a CX bike as well. So you saw Martinez, super fresh, his facial, his parasympathetic nervous system on Martinez's face was perfect and fantastic. Egan though, you can see his glycogen conditioning was really taking its toll yesterday. He didn't have enough carbs. If that stage was any longer, or if Yates attacked earlier, Egan would have lost minutes instead of maybe, what are you, 51 seconds? So that's an example there. Carbs are so important. It doesn't matter if you're the best rider in the world like Egan is right now. He's unbeatable. But yesterday we saw the importance of carbohydrate, the importance of muscle glycogen petitioning in the muscles and the sufficiency of that. If you don't have that, bye-bye. You can have a hemoglobin of 230. These guys got insane mutant hemoglobins right now. You've got to, to ride that watts per kilo. But it doesn't matter if you don't have the glycogen in the muscles sufficient. All right? So we saw Egan had a gel in that last bit. Wasn't enough. You've got to have you know at least 100 grams of sugar per hour, and at least a kilo of sugar on that recovery day. That's just how it is. Stage 18 tonight. Let's find out what's going to happen. Is Egan still going to win? I think he's going to definitely. He's going to learn from this. And like Lance in 2002, you're going to learn from it. If you don't bonk in a race like Contador did as well in Paris 2009, how are you going to really drive that home? The importance of the carbohydrate. You have to lose on a big scale to really drive it in. Let's go stage 18.